Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the greatest quiz show in the whole world. You are coming. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the greatest quiz show in the whole world. It's called What, What, What? What Don't You Know? That's right. Like always, I am your quiz master. My name is Nana Jesse O, so you can call me NGO. And this show is the only show in the world that tells you what you do not know, even though you think you know what you know, but we say you do not know what you think you know. It is very simple, but complicated, complicatedly simple. Right, it's another episode. Three contestants competing for 300 Ghana cities. And of course, we also tell you that the show is brought to us by Tabia Herbal Mixture. Malaria fever. That's right, and that is what it is. So you have to get Tabia Herbal Mixture if you're suffering from malaria. Malaria fever, any fever, just get Tabia Herbal Mixture. And your fever will run away, like Usain Bolt, or a confirm. That's it. But also, it's also brought to us by Ready Cocoa Chip. Ready cocoa chips. Now, maybe you have some visitors around. You want something to give them. You're organizing, maybe you have a social event, a wedding, um, an, a, an engagement, you know, a funeral. Get them ready cocoa chips. It's appropriate for all events. Get yourself ready cocoa chips. Ready cocoa chips. So let's get straight to our contestants. Let's find out who they are and where they are coming from. I can see two very beautiful and, you know, they look smart as well. And, and a young man. Very, you know, large young man. Hello. So let's start with you, contestant number one. What is your name and where are you coming from? My name is Lillian. I'm coming from Atonsu. Lillian from Atonsu. Lillian, yeah. what do you do? I'm a sound engineer. Sound engineer? Yeah. So it means you can engineer all the sound we're using here? I can. Really? <laughs> yes. Oh, I like it. Do you have a job? You have a job? The sound engineering is my job. Ah, sure. Like I was coming to do you like lie and say that to bring your CV. <laughs> You see, and I'll lie to you. <laughs> That's what we always do. <laughs> yes. Okay, so why are you here? I'm here to win the 300 Ghana cities and also to learn what I don't know. To learn what she doesn't know. What do you know? And what don't you know? Figure that out. All right, thank you very much, Lillian. Our next contestant, what is your name? Delphina Zara Zanel Bokman. Zoo. You have been here. On a couple of occasions? Yes, please. And you are here again? Yeah. You still want the money? Yes. Hey, why? Because I need it. For what? They show me how far. Mm. And this time you think you, you take it away? I'm hopeful. Yes. That is all you've got. Are you an Arsenal fan? No. Well, you should try being an Arsenal fan. You know what hope is. Next year, baby. year. Next year, baby. Next year, baby. That is how Arsenal fans are. Hope! That's what kills you. Yes, our next contestant. What is your name and where are you coming from? David. David? Yes. And Goliath. This is, I can see this is David and this is Goliath. <laughs> Call it what you mean. Oh, yes, I'm calling it what I mean. What the me? <laughs> what? I like you. I like you. David, what do you do? I'm a comedian. A comedian? Yes. Hey, David, how, how is that going? Is it paying? Well, yes, it does. Mm. Yeah. How many cars do you have? Uh, cars? Yes. You mean my own or what other people have? <laughs> <laughs> or what I'm planning to buy? Yeah. No, not what, what you paper? have right now. On paper? No, not, not the ones on paper. Oh, well, yeah, it, I'm still negotiating with the car dealership. So. Why, they don't want to sell it to you? Yeah. It's, Why? It's a long dealership thing. I mean, it takes time. So. Mm, mm. The way your bank account is set up. Yeah, it's, it's very complicated. 
Yeah, so before you move the money and then change it transfers and I, stuff, I, yeah. I get it. Yeah. I, it's, it's the same thing is happening to me, you yeah. know. You know, because I've been trying to um, get my bank account sorted. You know, you go here, oh, we don't take this. I, I, that's what I, have to, I have to just move out, move outside the country. You know, because when I was in Hollywood, it wasn't like this. It wasn't like this. Yes, David, so yeah. why are you here? To have fun, actually. Oh, you're just here to have fun? Yes. Not necessarily to win? No. Nah. <laughs> yeah. Lower the expectation. It will help yourself. Yeah. Because some people come and like that. Just manage your expectation like that. It's good. That's what Manchester United fans are not learning. Manage your expectations. Hmm? Because Manchester no. Elgu? Please. All right. So you're ready? Yes. Yes. All three of you? Yes. yes. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, we're just about going in. We're going on a quick break. When we come back, we're getting straight into round one. This is the show. What, what, what? What don't, don't you know? know? All right, you're welcome back to the show. What don't you know? My name is Dana Jesse Osu. You can call me NGO. And we have three contestants ready. Remember that every round, uh, for every major question you get right, you get three points. And when you get a bonus question correct, you get one point. And you have 15 seconds within which to answer a question. And when you get a question right, I mean, you get three points. But um, if your time is up, this is what happens. DJ, that is it. You are belled out and remember all music will be provided by our man dj gft yeah my man wapen <laughs> mama he will play music you will all start dancing so let's move straight into it Are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. So we're moving straight into our first round. And this first round, it is all about catch phrases. Catch phrases. And these catch phrases are by musicians, popular musicians in Ghana. So I tell you their catch phrase, you tell me the musician. Or maybe I tell you the musician, you tell me their catch phrase. Simple enough? Clear enough? All right. Let's start off with you, contestant number one. Lillian, you the film. Medical. Medical is correct. <laughs> Contestant number two, Zara Zinel Zoo. Area. Edio. Yes, bonus question to you, David Agla. Area. Comedian Agudai. <laughs> well, I mean, that is a valid answer, but that's not the right answer for this. I said musician. Area. Well, a bonus question to you, Lillian. No idea. No idea. Anybody knows? Yes? Ya yeah, Polo! Polo BM. Area. All right, your major question David Agla. Cherish it. Cherish it. Cherish it. Cherish it. Cherish it. Cherish it. He's a rapper from Kumasi. Cherish it. Strong man. Nope. Time is up. Yes, Lillian. Stone. Stone. Uh, Flokins. That is rather unfortunate. Yes, Zara Zinelzu. Kaboom. Kaboom, the cherish it. Kaboom, the cherish it. Kaboom, the cherish it. Your major question, Lillian. Mandem, link up. Um, article one. Article one, yay! Yay, yay, yay. All right. Now, your major question. Zinel Zara Zoo. Where are you? Reggie Zippy. <laughs> Reggie Zippy. No, that's rather unfortunate. Your time is up. David Agla. Where are you? He's also a Kumasi rapper. 
Strong man. Nope. Yes, Lillian. Yeah, you should try. Just try. You never know. Well, anybody knows? Yes? Rati GH. Rati Ghana. So, David, your final question. And this will end the round. It's a hit, man. Whose catchphrase was that? It's a hit, man. I know. It's right there, but you can't remember. Yes? Brothers. Um, it was used in one of Brothers songs, but not for Brothers. That's rather unfortunate. Yes? Kunta Kinte. Hey, I said Brothers, but I said Kunta Kinte. Well, who knows the answer? Hey, <laughs> Richie Mensa. The answer is Richie Mensa. And that was for Lynx Entertainment. Richie Mensa. And this brings us to the end of the first round. And we're going to bring you the score for the first round. And at the end of the first round, contestant number one, that is Lillian, has six points. <laughs> contestant number two, that is Zinel Zubachman, has one point. Yeah, to ask David Agla. Yeah. How are you feeling? Great. You're, you're great? Yeah. I can see. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm great. You're having fun? Yeah. What do you have to lose? <laughs> Nothing. Rich comedians. How are your comedian friends? They're all doing well. Yeah. Okay. That's brilliant. They'll all come and come and have fun. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're moving straight into the next round. And this very next round, we're going into football celebrations. Football celebration. And I can see the women shaking their heads. Sometimes when your boyfriends are watching football, stay. When your father is watching football, stay and watch. You never know when you need it. Starting off with you. Zara Zinel Zhu. Whose celebration or which team celebrated like this? Yes? Ghana Black Stars. The Ghana Black Stars! <laughs> that is correct. David Agla, your major question. Whose celebration is this? Yes, David Agla. When he celebrates, he does C. Who is that? Cristiano Ronaldo. Pardon? Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo is correct. Sometimes it's what you don't know, you think you know, but what you think you know, you do not know. So just say it. You never know what you think you know. Your major question, Lillian. Whose celebration is this? And this was celebrated in the World Cup 2010. This particular celebration was done in the World Cup 2010. 10. Um, can I get another clue? It was an African player. Um, Michael Lucien. Nope. Did I you? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, your time is up. <laughs> yes. Stephen Napier. Stephen Napier. <laughs> Stephen Tornado Apia. After he scored a penalty. He just did that. Yeah. Stephen up here. Just a my Yeah. Stephen. Yes. You can also call him Oprah me. Stephen up here. What were you doing? Oprah me. Okay. Zanel, your major question. Whose celebration is this?
<laughs> Whose celebration is that? Did I you? It's not did I you want to be a gang. Mohammed Salah. <laughs> Mo Salah. Okay, ready. Yes, David Agla. He's actually a Ghanaian. Well, David has no idea. Yes, Lillian. What team does he play for? Well, he plays for Lyon. In the French Ligue. Um. Oh. Well, your time is up. Anybody has an idea? Yes? It has come. Super Mario Wine. What's the power to me? Barrow Tell me. Wow, me. Super Mario. Well, the answer is Memphis Depay. Memphis Depay. That is the answer. He's a Ghanaian. Your major question. David Agla. Your major question. Whose celebration is this? An iconic footballer played for Brazil. David clearly doesn't watch football. You'd rather joke. <laughs> yes, your um, a bonus question. Lillian. Ronaldo. Ro? Ronaldo. Oh, that is rather unfortunate. Yes? Neymar. No. The answer is Ronaldinho. 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 Your major question, and this will end the round. Lillian, whose celebration is this? Pardon me, this is just part of the show. Ajay. Ah. Oh. Yes. Whose celebration? Get that one correct. <laughs> Get it correct. Whose celebration is that? Uh, did I you? <laughs> so you are sure? Did I you will get up and then he will be moving his bottles on the floor like that? I don't know. Yes, Zinazu. No idea. David Agla. He's a captain and a goalkeeper, but I. Yes, that is true. <laughs> I don't know about the name. Well, this shows that you, you, you know him. You know, I would have given you something, but, you know, it's a bonus point. Well, the answer is Kidiba. 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 Yes, and that is the goalkeeper for Congo. Dr. Congo, yes. Yes, so ladies and gentlemen, it brings us to the end of this particular round. We're moving straight into our next round. Remember, this is the show. What, what, what? What don't you know? So you're welcome back to the show. What don't you know? My name is Nana Jesse Ozi. You can call me and you're the quiz master. The show is brought to us by Tavia Herbal Mixture and also brought to us by Ready Coco Chips. Ready Coco Chips. Now at the end of the second round, contestant number one has six points. <laughs> and contestant number two, that is Zinel Zhu, has five points. And David Agla, who came to just have fun, is having fun. Three points. Well, zooming straight into the third round, which will be the final round of this particular contest, I call this one, uh, this will be like an average booster. You know, I'm just giving you this so it will boost your average, like they do in KNUST. Hmm? When your average is like free night call, please. You get this one. So this round, it is very simple. We show you photos of celebrities and you will identify which celebrity they have a beef with. 
Are you ready? So I'm starting off with you, David Agla. So David Agla, this is your major question. This is Efia Schwarzenegger. Who does Efia have a beef with? Valid answers only. Kennedy Japan. Kennedy Japan is correct. <laughs> well, with the Fiat Schwarzenegger, we can go on and 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 on. And on, and on. Please, Fiat. You know, say me know the me know niyasem. Me know niyasem. I am grow. Then ye dear. Okay. All right. Now, Lillian, your major question. Kennedy Japan, if you ask Schwarzenegger, is vitiated from this. Um, Anas. Anas Aremiao Anas. <laughs> and of course, like if you ask Schwarzenegger, we can go on and on and on and on and on. Over. <laughs> okay. Your major question. Zinelzu. Shata. Wali. Yapono. Yapono! Yapono! And like his predecessors, we can go on and on and on and on and on. Hey, just Niyama. <laughs> okay. Back to you, David. Your major question. Sister Derby, the African mermaid. Fella. Fella McCaffrey! Fella McCaffrey! Wow. But this girl, she's beautiful, pal. What? Okay. Lovely. Right, your major question, Lillian. Reggie Rock Stone. A boba, Reggie Rock Stone. Grandpapa. Well, you gotta know the grandpapa has a beef with somebody. He grandpapa. Does, uh, with who? Uh, is this a person a musician? Also? Yeah, any Barconi a musician. So talk to the grandpapa. Um, Samini. Sorry? No, they don't have a beef. Not that I know of. No idea. No idea. Zara Zinelzu. A brothel. Nope. David Agla. The member who left VIP. Um. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give him half. Because there's only one member, I mean, there are a couple of members, but the latest member who left the VIP is Plumsy. They just have given a round of applause. <laughs> and Reggie Rock Stone had a beef, or should I say a squabble, with Plumsy. After Plumsy left and Reggie joined VIP and became VVIP, that is when they slept. Okay. Your major question. Your major question. Zara Zinel. Medical. Medical is correct. And that is strong man. And I'm sure that is the beef medical woke up and then, Maza, I shouldn't have. You know, sometimes as a man, you have to get up and then you have to admit your faults. You shouldn't have tried a small boy. This small boy, Naze. <laughs> All right, so ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to the end of the round and it brings us to the end of the contest. In fact, give them a round of applause. <laughs> and as always, the show is brought to us by Tabia Hairball Mixture. When it comes to malaria fever, anything that has to do with malaria or fever, get yourself Tabia Hairball Mixture. It's also brought to us by Ready Coco Chips. Coconut chips, that is good for you, that is ready for you, that is good for everyone. It's ready, cocoa chips. So right about now, ladies and gentlemen, we have the final score. We have the final score. And it's rather unfortunate things have turned.
Niamadane. So, ladies and gentlemen, contestant number one had nine points. That is Lillian. Give her a round of applause. And it was a close, close, close shave. Very, very close. And contestant number three, that is David Aglam, who came to have fun, had nine and a half points. And the winner. Ah. <laughs> The winner of this contest, ladies and gentlemen, contestant number two, Zara Zine Zoo. Wow, this competition is not easy at all. So in the beginning, I thought I had it in the bag, but this shows I don't know anything. I know nothing. So next time, I'm definitely going to prepare. I'll come back, and I'm taking that 300 CDs. It was fun. It was nice. It was fantastic. I loved it. I had fun. I'll read everything. <laughs> well, I think it goes all the way. I wasn't, I'm not a sports person, so I had a few challenges there. But next time, I'll come prepared. I'll do my homework. I actually had no secrets. I can't even express how I feel. I was very nervous and it was the first time I'm feeling this way going into a competition. I didn't think I would win. 